So this is a continuation of the previous video where it was a multi-day shoot shooting these products in the studio. We also shot them out on location which will be featured a little bit later. But this first shot is the very first attempt at or basically set up for the lighting. Notice that that's a little bit brighter over here a little bit less over here and we've got shadows from the product. I'm purposely trying to skim light across this to create basically three-dimensionality to it showing uh, the textures and all that kind of thing. But the client after seeing this shot not so much the lighting but didn't like how he had it set up here so we uh, basically switched. But here is the lighting setup to start. We've got large light boxes all the way around and you just basically adjust the ratio or the power settings on each of these to create where you want your light to come from and how you want it to basically shape the product with you know one's gonna be a little lighter one's gonna be a little darker this may be the brighter or this may be the brighter or this may be the brighter depending on where you need your highlights and how you want it to shape the product so if you go back to this first one again you know we've got detail in here and and the high, slight highlight up here and highlight on there and so on creating shadows but in the end the client didn't really like it what we ended up doing was going back and putting our emphasis on this light box making this a little bit brighter by going in and dropping the power on both of these just a little bit the reason for that was here's what the client decided to do for the next shot um, and again he shot a lot of combinations of this but we didn't have any detail down in here with that first lighting setup so now it's much brighter in here by letting the overhead light box be more powerful and as previously mentioned all of these were cut out from the white background and then overlaid into the um, brochure and catalog that he produced so again here we put emphasis on the overhead light box with the side light boxes creating these highlights and that sort of thing and again you want to keep an eye on this see that see how that shows the shape a little bit darker here a little bit brighter there okay so then we moved on to um, a overall uh, showing the stand set up but with the product still in the case and this looked okay this looks pretty good but the case got kind of dark didn't really look very good and so in the end what we ended up doing was putting a light box right here you know where we had the ones on the side and the overhead now we added another one here and that basically blasted light into here and brightened that up quite a bit and added more highlights in here this was very dark in the previous image when you look here that was dark this was dark so we added that other light box to brighten it up and that worked real good then we went to the the this device by itself and everything looks pretty good here. We got our overhead light, we got our side light, and our side light, that's what's creating these highlights, but this is kind of dark in here. So we turned on that light again, another small light box here, to put light inside there. And the result is this is much brighter. And again, it's showing shape now. See? Shadow, highlight, showing shape. And that is just so much better than the previous image and good highlights going down the side when you compare to the previous one let's back up here a little further it's a little dark here this looks okay except this is the star of the photo so that's what needs to show up adding that fourth light box brighten that up quite nicely and then we the client wanted to turn it started opening it up and doing various different things with it so we shot all kinds of series of this sort of thing as well and notice that that small light box now puts a highlight on there not a big deal because the client's going to cut that out of there and put a um, a screen in there that shows the display so this highlight on here angle of incidence highlight actually helps create enough of a highlight for him to do that so there you go on that second part of that shoot